Hey guys, so it's Tamara. I am back. I'm on my way out of the office, but I wanted to take some time and just wish you guys a happy new year. We have done so much this year on this channel specifically, and um, I want to share with you what we're going to be focusing on in 2019. We're going to be starting back January the 7th with a whole new video, and um, I think you're gonna love uh, what's coming up. I've gotten so many emails and text responses and um, so many, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Snapchats, I'm not on Snapchat, but sometimes I get Snapchats like through some of my other social media links. I've been getting a lot of tweets and that, um, a lot of pins asking for more videos. So you guys have given me some great ideas and I think there's some things we haven't touched on and talked about that would be essential for you to learn about. I love providing you guys with free education on this channel. And as I go along and as I hit certain numbers of subscribers and as I grow on my channel, um, I am going to be putting together packages and educational tools where you can just um, have a package of videos um, uh, available to you at your disposal where you can watch anytime when you get ready, you can download them. So there's a lot of really cool stuff coming up. So stick around, guys. I have a lot of uh, videos that I want to um, put out there for you guys, but I still welcome your feedback and I welcome your ideas. But I want to start by going through a couple of things that we're going to be focusing on this new year. All right. So I think the number one thing that a lot of my followers and subscribers and, and friends um, online and also my clients as well um, have wanted me to talk about is obsessive compulsive personality disorder. A obsessive compulsive personality disorder is basically OCD but with a personality component. We're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about narcissistic communication. We've talked a lot about narcissism and pathological liars on my channel, triangulation, manipulation, right, unhealthy family members. But what I want us to delve into a little bit more is the topic of narcissistic communication, because I think in order to identify a narcissist, you have to be able to have your ears open, right? Not just your eyes, but your ears open to what they're saying and to what they're doing. And that is essential, right? If you miss that, then you're going to get manipulated by a narcissist. So we're going to talk about narcissistic communication. We're also going to talk about parenting styles that are influenced by intergenerational trauma. One topic I have focused on a lot in this uh, on this channel, excuse me, is parenting styles, attachment, um, parents who are unhealthy and emotionally detached. But I want to add a different component. I want to talk about what happens when you are born into a family or to a mother who simply cannot be a mother or a father who simply cannot be a father. And I also want to talk about blended families and step families, right? Stepfathers, stepmothers, um, half siblings, all of that stuff. All of that stuff is going to be coming up on this channel this year. We're going to get into that. We're also going to get into finding a good therapist. I had a lot of people emailing me this year um, asking me, or actually uh, 2018, I'm sorry, because we're already in 2019. But I've had a lot of people um, contact me last year asking me to focus on um, what a good therapist is. And uh, I'm so honored by most of you who send me messages and you're like, you're such a great therapist. I wish I could come see you. Thank you so much for that. I'm, I'm humbled by that. I really am. Thank you. Um, but I, I do want to focus on that. What's a good therapist? What's a bad therapist? What should you be looking out for? Um, I'm going to post, I'm going to put that link right up here above us, uh, above me, I should say. Um, it's a link where I talked a little bit about unethical practices, but we're going to delve in a little bit deeper than that. All right. The other thing that we're going to talk about is the history and the current standing of the DSM. Do you know what that is? The DSM is the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. And that manual is a dictionary. Okay. It's a huge, huge dictionary. And I don't have it with me here in this office, but I'm going to show you what it kind of looks like. So the DSM kind of looks like this. Okay. I don't know if you can see the thickness of this. This is basically the DSM. All right. It's really like this, this big manual. Um, and then it might be more of a compact size now that we've updated it. Um, but the DSM is basically this manual that says, here's a bunch of labels that we want to give you as a patient, as a client, because we think collectively we agree as a field, most of us, and, and specifically the ones at the top of the game, right? The ones who make the, the choices and make the decisions. We believe that this is what we should label you with. 
And that has just caused so much trouble. I'm not a big proponent of the DSM. I hate the labels. I think they are way too restrictive. So we're going to talk about that as well. We're also going to talk about um, how you are diagnosed. I want to break down how therapists, psychologists, psychiatrists, how we arrive at your diagnosis. That's essential. We're going to talk about juvenile sex offenders and what that looks like, what the law is, and I'm going to be a little bit careful with that. I'm not the attorney. My cousin is, so I don't want to get into that. Um, but we are going to talk a little bit about the law, what the regulations are, what the punishments are, what the consequences are, what the treatment is like for juvenile sex offenders. That's something uh, that I think I need to focus on as well. I've had a couple people ask me to talk about that. We're going to talk about domestic violence, guys, and we're going to talk about the family dynamic that domestic violence causes, okay, because there's some serious dynamic changes when domestic violence enters the family unit. We're also going to talk about holistic health and mental health. I am not a strong proponent of medication. I think that if you need it to function, if you need it to keep you safe, to keep you alive, to keep you mentally and psychologically present, by all means, take it. Find a good psychiatrist, find a good holistic doctor, take the medication. However, I do not believe in medicating. I do not believe in medicating children. I do not believe in medicating adolescents unless they absolutely need it. I do believe in holistic health. I think we need to work on our mind. We need to work on our inner workings of our body, right? We need to work with the natural chemicals in our brain and in our body. We need to also work with our endorphins, our neurotransmitters, our biology, our genetic makeup, our energy, our metabolic levels. We need to work with all of that stuff so that we can be helpful healthy and helpful to other people in our world. So there's a lot of topics that we're going to talk about this year. We're going to tackle them little by little. Some of the videos I'm going to be posting on Wednesdays as well. Remember, those are the bonus videos, so stick around for those. Mondays and Fridays, you're definitely going to get a video, but you're also going to have some access to bonus videos on Wednesdays. So we're going to tackle this stuff, and I encourage you and welcome you to give me some more suggestions if you have them. Thank you so much, guys, for being with me today and every every Monday, every Friday, every Wednesday. Totally loved your support in 2018. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to continuing to do these videos, interacting with you guys, and giving you guys the knowledge that you need. Happy New Year, and I'm praying that you have a wonderful, wonderful New Year. Bye-bye.